Big shout to the ghosts and the ghost sets on this episode of Demons Row TV. We talk about the influx of pop up clubs. Everybody wants to start their own motorcycle club, and we get into the reasons why you should not on this episode of Demons Row TV. And no, yeah, we ghosting, baby. Shout to the ghosts and the ghost sets. Welcome to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle club involved. I'm Sos the Ghost. I'm your host for the evening, and today we're gonna talk about it. Pop up clubs. What's a pop up club? A club that just shows up out of the clear blue. No blessing. You don't know any of them, and they got on their cuts. They saw Sons of Anarchy and they hyped up, so now they started their own situation. We're gonna get into the reason why you should not. But the first thing I want you to do, like we always do on this channel, is to hit me with that pound ghosting. And that lets me know you're alive and well, sitting on twos, doing what you do, or just part of the Demons Road community, one of my ghosts. Shout to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the row. Shout to everybody repping the Demons Row clothing. We bringing this thing worldwide. We're everywhere. We got the new Skeletor look. Go get that. Send me your pictures to at Demons Row at Ghost underscore on Instagram. I'm kicked off Facebook. They banned free speech there, so I'm not on there. Follow the Sos the Ghost page. I'm dropping my first video this week. No more delays, I promise you. I'm coming with content on there. This week's certified ghost stat goes out to Zahara, represent Atlanta, Georgia. A mother, a wife, a sales executive, but also a biker. She's been riding for four years. Started out with a sporty. She's been customizing it. She runs the Atlanta branch of the Leaders, an all-women's moto collective, along with two other badass babes. She said if she's not riding, she's thinking about it. So big shout to Zahara, you are a certified ghost stat. This week's certified ghost goes out to Ace, represent that Thug Riders MC 1%. From St. Mary GA, he rides a 2017 Harley Road King. My brother, you are a certified ghost. Alright y'all, let's get into it. Why you should not start a motorcycle club. A lot of it has to do with your intentions. My thing is, I feel that a lot of people want to start their own club for the wrong reasons. If you're starting your club for the right reasons, and to me, the right reasons would be you've been in the MC culture for years, you, you ride, maybe there's a couple of you, you always at the events and you seen that this is something you want to do, but none of the clubs seem to fit what you're trying to do. Like the Baca, Bikers Against Child Abuse, like they had like a goal that was different from the other MCs. It was lacking in MC culture. So they wanted to bring that to the forefront. That type of stuff adds to the culture. So I understand. If you have those type of intentions, then you're in it for the right reasons. So I don't want to be a dream shatterer. But what this episode is talking about, I'm always getting a DM or email or something. People asking me to coach them up what steps to take to start their own motorcycle club honestly with the influx of clubs popping up everywhere all over america all over the world i think that it's better suited 
to join a club that already exists. Now, who this applies to are people that have bad intentions. The bad intentions are people that just don't want to prospect. Oh, I've heard so much bad things. You know, these clubs, they make you clean up. They make you run the bar. They call you. You got to come whenever they need you. But what you don't know about starting a new club, it's way easier to prospect than it is to open a brand new motorcycle club. You really got to think about the work that it takes to open a new motorcycle club. So if you don't want to prospect, you are not ready to deal with the trials and tribulations that it takes to start an MC. Like you're not being real with yourself and you don't understand enough about the culture to start your own club. And it's this entitled era that we live in right now. The reason why people feel that, you know what? I don't like the way this goes, that goes. I can't deal with rules. I'm gonna make up my own rules. So guess what? You're building your club on a foundation of your rules. So your rules are not gonna work for the rest of the people. So you know what happens? Instead of you, maybe you could have been somebody that was prosper to become a president of a club, become a national president at one day and really rise in that club. Instead of that, you get five people, you get a couple of people together and you start your little club. You have good intentions in the beginning because everybody got good intentions. Nobody want to come in and just fuck shit up. You know what I mean? Well, some do. If you're from where I'm from, some people just want to fuck shit up. So I can't say that. But you could have been a major asset to a club, but instead you came up with your little rules. You didn't understand the game. And then you know what happens with these pop-up clubs? They don't last. So then you don't last. And then you tell people, because I hear this all the time. Oh, I did the MC life. I'm more of a lone wolf. You're more of a lone wolf because you're not dedicated. You won't dedicate to anything. You think that just living by your rules makes you a man. Men have discipline. You can be a one percenter. You could be in an MC, RC, whatever type of club it is. You can be in a club and still hold your ground and still be a man. Following rules does not make you less of a man. Do you understand that when you start a new club, they could make you wear soft colors for a year? Or you could be in a state like Texas where they're just going to tell you no. You know what I mean? They're going to tell you join one of the supports or you get put in that situation where if it's a 1% club, they tell you, you gotta be a support club. And then you know what happens? People get put in situations where they become a support club and they don't understand what that entails. If you a support club and they tell you it's time to go, it's time to go. And if you don't go, it doesn't end well. Or you have these people that understand the culture so little that they just pop up with the cuts on already. And then when a one percenter rolls up on you and takes your cut, you don't understand why, because you don't know the game. You got to understand what game you're playing. And this goes for anything in life. Do your homework. You, If you're jumping into anything, find out about it first. Don't just jump in blind. A lot of people do that. And I did it when I was younger. You jump in blind. You, you, you start your little gangs when you're a kid and you, you take beads and you, you put them together and you put colors and you got blood or crypt colors and they're going to run down on you because you have their colors on or Latin King colors or something. You know, this is why you have to do your homework. This day and age, if you ride and you ride enough, all will come to you. You will find out. You will end up at events. You will meet people. You will understand what this culture is about. But if you're not willing to put the time in, you're going to put yourself in a bad situation. Let's say you're in that small majority that you're like, you know what? I don't care. This is my club. I created it and we're going to go hard. There's so many clubs out here that even me, I don't know what's going on with some you know, small RC in um, California somewhere. You know, I don't know what's going on in, in Texas right now with certain clubs. Like, I, you can't, there's no way you can know every single patch that exists. So for originality purposes, you could come up with the greatest idea. Oh, I want this one with a skull and this, this and that. And some other MC could have the same exact thing or variation of it or colors. You could have colors of a rival in your territory or their rival, which is even worse, 
And then you get caught up in that beef because they think that you're that club. Also, something that I want to make clear to people that they don't understand about when you open a new club, a lot of one percenters will send supports out to a state that they're not in, that their rivals in to open up shop, thinking that that rival doesn't know this support club. So what happens is that's how they open up shop in an enemy state. So you could pop up with your club and you could be perceived as your support club or you're trying to help a rival club move into a state. They get 10, 15 deep. Guess what? They're a support to that enemy of yours. So what happens? That enemy of yours moves in and they if they get deeper than you, if they're smart and they buy their time and this happens all the time, they will get you out of your territory or you got beef in your territory. You got people shooting at you where it was once calm. So people always think that it's an aggressive move, but it's more defensive than offensive if you think about it in that light. And a lot of people don't talk about it in that aspect, but that's why clubs don't want clubs just popping up somewhere because it could be an enemy club in the skies popping up. And then also when you just pop up like that, other MCs, like why are you in the game? Like you gotta think about it. If you're starting an MC, why are you in the game? You wanna ride, you wanna be part of the culture. So if you wanna be part of the culture, how are you gonna start off nobody liking you, having problems, people coming up to you, what patch is this, why are you wearing this? Like it's much better for you to join something that's already established because you're gonna have, listen, if you don't want to prospect or you're doing it because you watch Sons of Anarchy and you think it'd be cool, if you're doing it because you think you're gonna be cool, you're in it for the wrong reasons and you need to join another club and learn about the culture. And my advice to you, even if you have aspirations to start a club, I think that you should join a club and learn about the culture. And then when the time is right and you feel that you know enough about the culture and you got the connections, you could get blessings, you know, COC, one percenters, it doesn't matter which route you take. Then you start thinking about starting your own club. Or maybe if you're in the club and they start to falter and you could take those brothers and branch off and do your thing. Those are ways you can do it. But just opening up shop somewhere, I'm telling you, it happens all the time one percent is run down on them and take their cuts it just happens it's just a it's a fact of life and i just explained to you the reason why it would happen they could honestly think that you're an enemy and if you really think about the odds of starting an mc and it lasting for many years think about the history of mcs there's only uh no pun intended chosen few that have really lasted and standed the test of times and you got to also understand you may be living in kentucky somewhere i'm just saying wherever for instance and everything is cool and you open up and you don't get no blessing or whatever you know you cross that line and you go to the next state and it could be a disaster there's some people that don't care you can get hurt really bad and if you got a little heart and you don't want to take it off if they tell you to take it off some really bad things can happen you know what i mean so it's not worth it to start a motorcycle club if you don't understand the culture if you understand the culture and you have a lot of years in i still feel that you're more of an asset to a club that already exists a lot of these states have so many clubs you can't even count them on two hands like you can't count them on several people's hands like it's so many clubs in every state that it's so oversaturated that you might as well combine with other club because you got to think about it let's say you're in the club on this block right and then the other club across the street there's 10 of them or whatever and there's 10 of you let's say right numbers wise per se you guys could be 20 deep instead of being 10 deep doing your own separate thing you guys could be in other neighborhoods you guys could go to other states and, and go party or go on vacation and have your brothers out there like that's a great feeling like in my club i can go 
to Florida. I can go to Las Vegas, to Texas, you know, and have a good time. So people always want to fraction off and separate. And I think it's the worst thing. We're so much stronger together. Even people that are, are in clubs fraction themselves off a little into chapters. You're weaker that way. We need to start getting a more united front type feel to what we're doing in this culture. We need to respect this culture. People need to understand what they're getting into and do their homework. You need to get with some OGs and learn the game. If you have any questions on why you should not start a club, I want to hear about it. If you think I'm wrong, if you think it's great that there's a million clubs out here, which a lot of people disagree with because I know they don't, but everybody is entitled to their opinion on this show. And that's what I love about this show. I give both sides of it and then I let y'all decide in the comments. What do you think you know, about what I'm saying? If you just started a new motorcycle club, hit me with a pound, whatever that motorcycle club is, and tell me how long it took you to start it. Did you have a good road or was it rough? It's not easy starting a club. It is not easy starting a club. Colors wise, logos wise, it's insignia, all that, it's patches. You know, you don't wanna put a state on because then that means you're claiming the state. You don't wanna put a city in certain cities. You know, it's, it's a lot of politics. So I advise y'all to learn where you're from, what your state, what holds true for your state. Don't worry about what another state does. Worry about what holds true for where you live. And then if you're gonna travel into another state, then that's when you need to know the politics of that state. And I don't advise if you're a club that only is stationed in one state to just ride around with your cuts in different states. If you don't have relationships, you need to be very careful where you go. Share this on your timeline and spread the word because there's people that really benefit from these type of situations. I have people all the time hit me up in the comments, in DMs telling me, yo, you saved my life. I got caught in a jam. I thought about something you said and it helped me get out the situation. And I love that. That's, that's why I do this show. I, and also to kill the gangland perceptions and bring some reality to this. No more movie shit. This is real life. If you want to support the show, get the wristbands. We got them right now. They're only 350. We got stickers, 350, same price. The Cash App and the PayPal, I'm going to link that down so you can support the show. Get the clothing. Big shout to everybody. Big shout to my crew, Amanda Serrano, Big John. A lot of wonderful things coming. And thank you for tuning in to Demons Row TV. The holy grail of MC culture. Like, subscribe, and comment. And oh yeah, we ghosting, baby.